now we're talking. Look at our they even set up for us. Got the chrome straight pipe. Kentucky. Uh, one of the highlights of our year is visiting this show. Get to meet a lot of y'all guys. Uh, probably the most talked about thing uh, the buzz around this year's show is the new Case IH Combine, the AF11 which kind of competes against John Deere's X9. So everybody's really looking forward to uh, seeing that. That's kind of what the buzz of the farm show is this year. But uh, uh, gave y'all a little uh, taste of it right there in the opening intro and in our opening credits and uh, so hopefully you guys are going to uh, really enjoy this video so that's enough of me talking let's get her started Robert I think it's the first time we've ever visited Case IH booth before we uh, visited John Deere glad to see that big AF11 before everybody else did yep you saw it here first, guys. The brand new AF11. That's supposed to compete against the X9, I guess. That look good behind the 4650. 15, 20, 23, 25, 30, and 34. Why do you think that is a 20? 25. No, I don't think it's no 20. Can't be. It's a 15. It might be a 20. What's up? Two Kicking it old school, Robert. Dry fertilizer in three bushel boxes. I'm not even a red man, but I'd take that planter. Did they not bring an old classic tractors this year, Robert? Well, that's been the history. <laughs> that thing right there is not hard to look at. I got the lights on it. Natural flow, son. Natural flow. It could be high performance. Get into higher yielding fields. Be able to handle all the solutions for class six, seven, or eight class machines. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess this is like an eight hour and that's a seven hour. Yeah, and that's what I like about it, it's self-contained. You could 
got a hydraulic pump and then you got your spinners. That's for your spinners. Okay. You can put your hydraulic motor on your drag chain there and do variable rate. That would come in handy. Don't worry guys, y'all gonna get to see us pull fertilized buggy this year. <laughs> Things are tight. We bought a fertilizer spreader for scrap iron price. Gonna spread her on fertilizer. But it would be nice to have a brand new Doyle. The Patriot is looking very patriotic. That is pretty cool. John Deere's going to have to up their game. KSIH is really showing them up this year. Thanks, freaking sweet. I had the original Patriot, the Tyler Patriot. I looked at a case sprayer, several of them. But ended up with old John Deere. Look, Robert, it's a grain dryer we can afford. <laughs> Robert's checking out all these front end parts. We got to, we got to rebuild the front end in my 4650. All right, Matt Griggs. I mean, you the New Holland man. Let's get fully, let's get fully committed to New Holland here. I got this one roped off too. Well, I understand it's basically the same combine as the, uh, the AF11. Right? Yeah. <laughs> exact same combine. I will say their design looks a lot better than it used to. That's a lot of header to watch. How would you like to? How would you like to cut beans with it, flooded beans with it, and have to watch 50 foot of header? Yeah. Robert said that's what we need to be looking at is the new forklift. And they want all terrain and four wheel drive. Yeah. Manitou. Is that, no, is that like a sea cow? A Manitou? Yeah, I, I would look good in the shop, I'm not gonna lie. A stubble cultivator. Big a tractor, 180. I thought it was a fancy chisel plow. From shallow stubble cultivation to deeper loosening work. <laughs> Fully versatile. Maybe that's what we need, Robert. There's the older tractors. Now we're talking, look at there, they even set up for us, got the chrome straight pipe. It's a power shield. I think that's a custom job. I'm pretty sure 4230 was the last tricycle front. That's pretty sweet though. It's bad that you gotta have a thing to lock your GPS receiver on your tractor now to keep somebody from stealing it. We need that lift. <laughs> yeah. Who would have a gray Chevrolet truck? Is that the slate gray? 
Yeah, that's the slight gray. I like them seats. Smells good. <laughs> Got that new car smell. Mine don't have that anymore. Now who would own an old Ram? <laughs> Seriously. And get a minivan with the door open. You know, even at the farm, at the farm show, I wouldn't expect that kind of behavior. Guys, I am tired. I am beat. But uh, thought we'd put a wrap to this video. Robert, what would you say your, what do you think the highlight of the uh, show was? I don't know. I would say probably the, the spotlight was that new case combine, but, but probably my favorite thing was that tricycle 4250. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we tend to strays, tend to lean toward the older stuff on our channel. I guess I will say Okay. I'm not a big Case IH guy, but Case IH really, they brought a lot of that cool stuff there. John Deere really just don't have much anymore here. I'm well, it's funny. They had that big AF-11 combine, but then they had the little eight-row flanner with the driver. You know, I probably, that, that, for me, that was probably the highlights, the little uh, eight-row uh planter with dry fertilizer boxes on it. How many years has it been since you've seen a planter set up with dry fertilizer boxes? Right here, long time. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed this video and uh, got something out of it. I just hit the high spots. I didn't go super into detail on video and stuff. Y'all can see some of the highlights of the National Farm Machinery Show. If you're still in the area, you got a uh, you got three more days to see it. You got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'll be here uh, tomorrow uh, again. So if you see me, holler at me. Uh, but this is 2024, so. Got to meet a lot of nice people. Yeah, that's what I was, uh, got to meet a lot of nice people. I lost count at 30 people. We talked to over 30 people. Uh, and probably the highlight of my trip though was the guy, my combine was a one owner combine and we bought it seven hours up in Streeter, Illinois. Or maybe an eight hours. Uh, eight I think. But uh, we run into the original owner of my 9400 combine that y'all see in the opening intro. And I thought that was, uh, I thought that was really cool. We're not going to get this clean. It's going to take us out this way. But uh, I, 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 tried to, I tried to get him on the video and, and uh, tell, tell the story, but he didn't want to. I, 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 was, I understand. But uh, I couldn't believe that. And I told Robert, I said, that's the cool thing about YouTube. We've met so many people. But... If it wouldn't have been for YouTube, we would have walked right past that guy that owned our combine and never even known it. So that's one cool thing about YouTube. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like what we do, give us the old thumbs up. Like this video, share it with your friends. And I hope you enjoyed the uh, Farm Machinery Show, National Farm Machinery Show 2024.